Let's make some hall kicks. First of all, we need some sort of a dry sound. I'm going to use the FL Studio drum, like I always do, because everybody has this. Let's go with this one and make a new audio channel. Let's up the tempo to mm, 155 maybe. Now with the hall kicks, let's keep this pretty simple. I'm gonna remove... Let's make this a little bit more gentle. I'm going to low pass this thing. Like so. Next up, we need to add some distortion to this thing. I'm going to stick to stock plugins for now. Let's go with Destructor. I'm going to low pass this thing again. Now let's add some reverb. Automate the wet level. And let's merge this sound a bit, make it more mono. And when I move the reverb before this interesting distortion, we get the whole kick rumble. And the reason for the high passing is that we don't want to reverberate those high frequencies. They can sound pretty nasty. Now let's mess around with the reverb settings a bit. I might not like this distortion. Let's try to add some more distortion. I think we need some <laughs> soft clipping in here. Actually, let's let's try to use the limiter. The limiter works really good with this sort of sounds. So many people dislike this limiter because it can be pretty grabby and digital sounding. But with this sort of sounds, it works really great as a limiter. It has a sound to it, in my opinion. So 
So now let's render this thing out. I'm going to, going to use Edison for this. Drag this here. Maybe I like to do this first. So next up, let's move here. And this is probably in G sharp, I think at least. Or is it just G? It might be. So let's reverse this thing. Now let's look for some sort of a kick. Again, we need some soft clipping in here. Let's throw this to insert 4. And this is in insert 3. I'm gonna route this to a bus channel. In here. I'm going to try the pressure 4. This is a Air Windows plugin. I might like to use um, soft clipper or inflator. Let's try inflator first. All right. So for this tail part, let's try some OTT. Good old OTT to mess up the low frequencies. <laughs> Let's go with this. And let's take another reverb for the kick or punch. Now we can try to find some sort of a percussive sound to layer on top of this thing using the pogo knob.
Now we can try to do some weird ass layering with this sound. I'm going to send this to this track in here. Let's open up a send plugin, send it to the tail layer. Now in here, I usually like to try something like guitar rig. Then I low cut this channel. And I'm gonna use the dock plugin to do some side chaining. And I can actually try out these presets. I want to try something different with the guitar rig, so I'm going to clone this one. So I have this old thing saved in here. Alrighty, in the bus channel, uh, let's use the not so secret weapon, Neutron 3. I have the standard version. In here, we can use the sculptor at fullness. Listen to the high end. Insane. Let's see how this looks. Like a Christmas tree. Yeah, so let's compress this just a tad bit. I'm gonna try out some different plugins for this.
it lost a little bit of its snappiness. This, this looks more like it, in my opinion. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I think this is it. Of course, um, with this pretty simple method, you can of course uh, do a lot of different things. The basic rumbling bass sound is pretty easy to make, but you can make lots of different layers on top of that by using the layering method that I showed you. So, yeah. I'm going to leave this FLP to be downloadable. The third-party plugins were, were Neutron. Pressor 4, Oxford Inflator, and the BX Master Desk Classic. So here you go, you can use this method to make hall kicks, gated kicks. Our kick is more like a gated kick than a hall kick. You can make hall kicks or gated kicks with this particular method. Mm -hmm.